Mendelssohn, we'll go briefly through Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn lived in the 18th century. He said, we can prove God's existence, how it is that God is possible. Why? Because if God is possible, and pure possibility is incompatible with the idea of a perfect being, then God must exist because God must be that perfect being. God is the perfect being. He said the philosopher can prove the existence of God. Philosophers can prove God and can prove the soul. But, interestingly, he said the state should not enforce uniform acceptance of specific religious beliefs. The state should not say everyone should be Catholic, or everyone should be Lutheran, or everyone should be whatever religion. Instead, toleration. Toleration is the idea, ideal. Okay, now let's go back to Lessing. We said that Raimaris didn't publish anything during his life. Everything was published posthumously after he died. Who published his works? That was Gotthold Ephraim Lessing. Lessing lived during the 18th century as well. So it was Lessing, who was greatly influenced by Raimaris, who said, no religious system can be proven universal by universally valid arguments. You think that you Christians have the, have the true religion? There is no argument that you can come up with that would be accepted by everyone in the world where everyone could agree that Christianity is the true religion. Follow me? The Buddhists in the room, you think that Buddhism is the true way, true religion? Got news for you. There's no way that you can come up with the arguments that would convince everyone in the world that you're right. There's no universally valid argument for any religion. Instead, faith rests on a person's inner experience. If you're a Buddhist, it probably has something to do with your inner experience. If you're Catholic, if you're Lutheran, whatever religion you are, it probably has to do with whatever inner experience you've had of that faith. It doesn't rely on proofs. We cannot prove religions. And so he's the one, we remember back from our study of Christology, he made the claim back then, there's a big ugly ditch between historical events, think the person of Jesus who really lived, and universal claims, think Jesus the Messiah, the Christ, the Lord. There's a big ugly ditch between the two of them between the Jesus of history and the Christ of faith, between historical events and universal claims. He said, for those of you Catholics who think that the Bible is the word of God, he said, the Bible is not unquestionable. <coughs> Meaning, this is going to be the birth of biblical criticism. Meaning, let's take a look at the Bible with a critical eye. Back before, people like Lessing, we just read the Bible and said, well, the Bible says... With people like Lessing now, we're going to start reading the Bible and being more critical. It's like, well, well, who wrote that? Who wrote that? Who were they writing to? When were they writing? Etc. And we start asking questions about that text. He did say that there is value in the Christian way of life. You know, if you do read the Bible, there's something about, you know, the things that the Bible says that are useful. So he, he was not advocating that you burn your Bible because there are some good things in the Bible. Just know that in the Bible we have to separate out we just have to separate out certain claims from what really happened, which is what Ramaras was trying to do. He said the value of religious ideas and beliefs lies in their effect on conduct. How do you know if it's a good religion? Probably because people are acting in a good way. He was famous for saying, if God were to offer me complete truth in the right hand, or the unending search for truth in the left hand, think about it for a moment. If God were to offer you the truth, for the search for truth, which would you choose? I think I'm going to take the truth. Give me the truth, please. He said, no, I'm not going to take the truth. Only God will have the, Only God has the truth. All the rest of us, give me the search for truth, and I will search for truth the rest of my life. Even if I'm always in error, because only God can have the truth, the rest of us are always going to be searching for the truth. He said, what education is to the individual, think about it with your own children, we educate our children, that's what happened with revelation over time. Revelation, the Bible, was given to us as children. The Bible was a set of laws that we got as children. And we lived according to those laws for a time. We had the Bible back when we were children, but you know what? Revelation continues to come to us in other ways outside the Bible. That was Lessing. Lessing said, he said, follow me now, 
when we were children, 2,500 years ago, when we were children as human beings, then we needed laws, and so thank God we have those 613 laws in the Old Testament in the Hebrew Scriptures. That was back then. Jesus came. Did we need so many laws? By the time Jesus came, we'd grown up a little. We were no longer kids. Now we were like teenagers, youths. Okay? So do we need all those laws? No, we didn't need so many laws. So Jesus gave us two laws and motivated us with, with other things. Instead of like, instead of uh, saying that he would punish us by turning us into a pillar of salt, right? he motivated us with things like the thought of heaven. But then Lessing said, think about it now, we've gone from that, the Old Testament, to that, the New Testament, but Revelation continues to come to us, because it's sort of like the educating of our children. Now that we're adults, we need a new gospel, a new law of how we're going to get along and what's right and what's wrong. And in this new law, we're not going to be good because of going to heaven or because we don't want to go to hell. Instead, we're going to be good for goodness' sake. We're going to be good because we want to be good, not because of heaven or hell. So that was lesson. Those are some scary waters that we walked into there because it's a church. When you start saying that the Bible is not necessarily the Word of God, but is open to criticism, then suddenly we can start opening our Bibles and start critiquing what we read there.